Hello Hawkeye, it's Ms. Sands, and this video is to show you how to log into your Chromebook to take your Passports for Learning test and NC check-in tests in the future. So when you first log into your Chromebook or open up your Chromebook, you need to first make sure that you are connected to the internet down here and that you have good battery life left on your Chromebook. Um, you should be at least 50% or more. I have 60%, so I'm good to go. Um, if not, make sure that you are plugged into a power source. All right, the first thing you need to do is down here in the lower left-hand corner, you're going to click on a button that says Apps. If you notice right now, I do not have a button that says Apps, which means what you would need to do is click Sign Out, and that will sign you out of your account. And then your screen will come back up with your username. And then down here, you see it says Apps. So I'm going to click on the button that says Apps, and then a menu appears. And on the menu, it gives me a couple different options. What I need to click on is the one that says NC Test. So I'm going to select that, and then you'll see the NC Test app is appearing on my screen. So give it just a couple seconds to connect to the network. And now what this is, this means that your device is in kiosk mode. So if you hear someone say that, this means kiosk mode. And you must be in kiosk mode in order to take district or state assessments. Otherwise the devices won't work or the tests won't work. All right, once you have logged in, you're gonna click on the upper left-hand corner that says NC test right here. And you're gonna click on that. Then it will take you to this screen where it's asking you for your login information. The top two you're not going to need. You will use the bottom two. You'll type in your student ID number, your lunch number. Okay, that's my fake student lunch number. And then you're going to type in the access code that you received from your teacher. This is going to be a combination of uppercase and lowercase letters and numbers. And these access codes are specific to each student and each test. They can only be used once, so they can't be redone once you've used them. So once you type in your access code, you, a new screen will appear that will have your name, the name of the test, and the, and the name Hawkeye. So if you are in fourth grade and it says fifth grade test, you know that their information is wrong and you need to contact the school. Um, once you type in your access code correctly um, and your information is correct, you can click the start button when you're ready to test. And then once you hit start, a new window will pop up with your name and the name of the test and the name of the school. Make sure all of that information is correct. If not, contact the school. And when you, then you will be able to take the test when you're finished answering all of the questions. Make sure you hit the end test button twice to completely sign out of the test. If you have any questions with testing, please call the main office of the school. Thanks. Bye.